is a, a family sport with uh, a lot of tides uh, between uh, parents, uncles, grandparents, and so forth. Mm -hmm. But uh, we move on with the recurve men's individual gold medal matchup, a uh, matchup of teammates, Korea versus Korea, and we take a look at the introductions. First off in target number one, break number fourth overall, Oh Jin Hyo of Korea. He'll be going head to head against his teammates and uh, wow, it's just a fantastic outing for Korea as they will finish one and two on the podium. His opponent today, a gentleman who defeated Brady Allison, he is shooting on target number two. He's ranked number two in the world. It's Kim Woo Jin. Both of these archers have at one point in their life held the FIDA world record. Back in uh, 2009, Ojin Hyuk set it, and I believe Mr. Kim set it just shortly after, but Kim is significantly younger than Mr. O, oh, which gives him the slight advantage, which means that he can shoot for a little bit longer. <laughs> Both archers are definitely going to be putting it down, fighting out for the gold medal. But either way, these archers are going home with some hardware. Kim Woo Jin shooting first on target number two. His first shot is a 10. Still out a little bit to the right, which is what we saw with Im Dong Hyun. And a 10. Both archers showing why Korea is the archery powerhouse of the world. Ten. Another 10, still wow. off to the right, but still a 10. Ten, ten as well. If this is any indication of this gold medal matchup, uh, Crispin, we're in for nine. quite the treat. Mm -hmm. And as I say that, our first nine on the board. <laughs> I don't believe I've seen any archers shoot all tens to take any matches, but I could be wrong. Nine. There's a nine. Both archers drawing at 29 and one set point each. See, Ojin Hyuk actually has a little bit of a unique way of drawing his bow back. There's a lot more motion as he brings a string back to his face, whereas Kim Woo Jin is a lot more classic. It's a lot still, it's a lot more linear, where Ojin, Ojin Hyuk has a lot of up and down, left to right type settling in before his string touches his face. And the reason for the string touching your face is the back anchor of the arrow. What this means is that the arrow, the back side of the arrow is always going to be at the same height mm -hmm. and always at the same left and right position so that when you aim your front sight, it will always go in the same position. Either way the archer draws it, it doesn't really matter. It's as long as they come to a solid anchor and finish the shot. And finishing the shot is a very important thing, especially in matches like this. A lot of archers will get caught up in watching where their arrow's going. But the good archers will keep their eyes focused on the gold and you'll see them just shooting 10s. That's a really good finish. That's a 10. We start off with the 10 on this second set. Ojin oh, Hyuk, nine. Nine points there. Out to the left where his last arrow was on the previous set. Both of these archers, they, they appear to be releasing quite fast. Is that just uh, style, how they're taught? Uh, how does that work exactly? In my experience shooting beside Koreans, they are generally fast shooters. They just get up, they get the string back to their face, they anchor, and they release. There is no dilly-dallying around at full no. draw to let any wind or any conditions affect them. And it's sort of like what we saw with Ms. Esabua from Georgia, and the quick shooting. And that looks like a 10-9-8 for Kim Woo Jin, giving him 27 points. Oh Jin Hyuk can take this with a 10, but a 9 will force a draw again. Nine. There's a 9. He takes a 9. 
You can see that Kim Woo Jin has an eight asterisk on his scorecard. It could be an eight or it could be a nine. And depending on what that is, will dictate what happens with the set points on this set. But with our perspective and with our point of view here, it looks like they are both tied at two set points each. Well, they do train together, I'm sure, and uh, teammates in the uh, men's team portion of this. Uh, so it should come as no surprise that these two teammates are also deadlocked at two here in this gold medal matchup at the uh, World Championships here in Torino, Italy. The call stands, and it appears. And it is official. The eight asterisk for Kim Woo Jin is an eight with no asterisks. Kim Woo Jin once again will shoot first on target two. Anytime there's a draw, we go back to the original shooting order. So we can see Oh Jin Hyuk's release here. Still a little unconventional and not usual. That was Juan Carlos Holgado, 1992 Olympic medalist, and now he's working for the World Archery Federation. Absolutely, my boss. <laughs> All around good guy. Awesome guy. <laughs> Kim Woo Jin to shoot first on target number two. Nine. Nine points out to the right, uh, l sorry, left, which could indicate that those shots aren't exactly what he's looking for. His group off to the right in the 10 ring is more his style. Woo Jin Hyuk. Nine. A left nine. Maybe something is going down on the field, a little bit of a wind, maybe, maybe not, maybe conditions changing, but both archers have just shot their first shots out left nine. Nine. Another left nine. If I were those archers, I'd be moving my sight. Let's see if he can adjust on this second shot. Nine. And I think he might have moved it a little bit too much. He's getting a little frustrated, we can see on the line, but frustration doesn't help you out at this level. You have to stay calm and you have to stay focused or else your competitor could take total advantage of that. Ten. There's a 10X. Wow from Kim Woo Jin. And he needs a 10 just to tie. Yep, O is uh, probably feeling the pressure right now, but he's shot many 10s in his lifetime. This should be another situation. It is not. Kim Woo Jin winning over O Jin Hyuk in this set, giving us a total set score point, point total of four to two. Three sets in the books here. You can see O's coach sort of uh, conversing with him and going over his shot process and probably the focus on the conditions on the field of play. Whereas Kim Woo Jin just looks a little calm. He's calm as a cucumber, as we say. <laughs> well, being in the lead will make you a little bit more relaxed as the archers get their ammunition back and it looks like it's official four to two for Kim Woo Jin. Oh Jin Hyuk will shoot first on target number one. Kim's classic shot, hand comes straight back. And it's a beautiful shot. Same thing with Oh, but his shot looks a little bit more forced than Kim's, but it clearly works for him, so I'm not gonna complain. Oh Jin Hyuk. Nine. Nine points. Now in this situation, I would say that O is probably trying a little too hard. Ten. That's a 10 for Kim. And the reason why I say that is because his groups are really opening up. He's mm -hmm. not really centered and got the precision that he would like to have. He's got the accuracy, but not the, the nice tight groups that you usually see from a Korean. He's circling the 10 ring. He's kind of got it scared. Ten. But there it is. There's three tens in total for Oh Jin Hyuk, but the rest are nines, and it's kind of an open group. Much more open than I'm used to seeing Korean shoot. Nine. Again, there it is, uh, left and low and nine. These so two athletes tied at 19 final shots here. Mm -hmm. well, this could be critical. You only have 20 seconds to shoot the shot, but he's still got 10 seconds left, which is plenty of time, but certainly not time you want to waste. Five. Nine. And that's a nine. Again, he's still open. If Kim Woo Jin shoots a 10 on this final arrow, he will be the new champion of the world. Final shot. 10 to win. And it is a 10. Gold medal for Kim Woo Jin of Korea.
with an outstanding effort, nailing the 10 at the end of the match to win it in Crispin. Wow, what a way to end it as he, the smile on his face and uh, waves to the crowd. It's, uh, it's almost a, a weird situation defeating a, a, a teammate of uh, of his but nonetheless uh, definitely an exciting time and uh, a gold medal celebrated and also a silver medal celebrated in the country of korea well what we've seen from kim woo jin is truly amazing he had to go to a tie-breaking era with brady ellison just to get to the gold medal match and he put it in the x ring and he knew going into this last arrow of this set that he needed to score a 10 just to win this gold medal so mr kim can definitely put it down when he needs to and shoot tens and X's on command. It's great shooting from Mr. Kim and also great shooting from Oh Jin Hyuk. Kim Woo Jin is clutch today. He is the 2011 World Archery Champion here in Torino, Italy. Still have a couple more things on the agenda as we see highlights of that final set and the set that saw Kim Woo Jin win the gold medal here at the World Championships. Of course, coming up next uh, in moments, we'll have the ceremonies from both the men's and the women's uh, gold, silver, and uh, bronze results as far as the recurve individual is concerned. And right after that, the closing ceremonies, and we will say goodbye from Torino. This has been a fantastic uh, world championship here as it is quickly coming to an end and uh, soon the athletes will be leaving the venue and wrapping up, heading home. Over 600 athletes from 90 countries. You were part of it, uh, Crispin, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe draw on some of your experiences right now and uh, your participation here in Torino, Italy and your experiences. I definitely had a lot of fun here. It was a great venue.